Well, um, in terms of logistics, it's all about actually finding your way into wilderness, into the heart of a wilderness. So the way to get into a wilderness, of course, first of all, there aren't any roads, so you can't drive in, because if there were roads, it wouldn't be a wilderness. Um, and so you have to hike in, or you have to go in by kayak, or canoe, or raft, or some simple, slow means of travel. And I probably hold the world record for the slowest traverse of all the American wildernesses, I should think, because I travel very slowly, I hike, um, I have a tea break every two hours, and to get a sense of where I am, and then I camp. Uh, I'm usually with a group of friends and, and uh, people I call Sherpas, but in fact we're all just a bunch of friends who go, fellow adventurers really, I suppose, and they love to come because I'm a sort of excuse to be in the wilderness. And they come with me and we set up a camp and then uh, we keep doing, keep moving on, setting up camp, moving on, setting up camp until I've found the subject that I'm looking for. And that's to do really, I think, with inspiration. It sounds a bit highfalutin, but some things you look at and you think, I suppose I could make a painting of that. And some things you look at and you just go, yes, that's it. The work isn't simply about putting a frame around a particularly beautiful piece of landscape and copying it. It's not just topographics. It's about, it's about the experience of being in a place. It's about the experience of the journey and what it's like to travel there, and what it's like to live there. Well, this is my exotic uh, toolkit here, which, uh, I mean, it couldn't be more uh, basic, could it, really? Um, these are my paint boxes. Uh, I carry these two with me, although the colours in them slightly overlap, but one of them is an American box and one of them is a British box, really, although they're both made by Windsor & Newton in Britain. But this one, this one, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, this one is the British box, which has mostly um, a lot of earth colours and a lot of fairly muted colours, as you'd expect for British landscape, really, uh, and obviously very useful in, in sort of misty, damp places. Uh, this one is an American box with American colours in it, and many more sizzling kind of bright colours, Windsor yellow, um, permanent rose, uh, French ultramarine, colours that you wouldn't expect to find in a British box because you just don't see those colours in a British landscape. And so I have to carry two boxes. I hate to do that because each weighs at least two ounces. So I would love to cut down to one box, but unfortunately I have to carry two. Um, but anyway, those were what I consider to be the magic of the whole thing in that, in that sometimes an entire museum gallery, often quite a big gallery, is filled with enormous paintings done, all of them, out of those two little boxes. So that, I, that seems to me just a magic trick that uh, even I can never quite come to terms with.